Hey guys, before we get going with the video this week, I just wanted to let you know, um, with the new uh, holiday season coming up and the new year, uh, if you need some help getting uh, equipment for any special services you're doing, uh, or if you have some questions as to what's going to be the best thing for you, um, that's part of what we do as well. Please feel free to email me anytime. Uh, you can reach me at techtuesday at ascensionworship.com, and we'd love to help you out in any way we can. All right, hope you enjoy the show. You say yes it's that time again it's tech tuesday hey hey and welcome to another tech tuesday this is chad from ascension worship as you saw from the title card this week we're talking about virtual sound check again but specifically we're going to talk about snippets and how you can use them uh, to toggle back and forth between your virtual sound check settings and your live settings um, so if you're not familiar with some of these topics, like with virtual sound check, um, at the end of this video, there will be, um, uh, links to videos that we talk about this stuff more, um, in the past. So you can go back and watch it. Um, but basically virtual sound check is a way that you can, uh, change your board to not receive, um, from your, in this case, digital snake anymore, but all of a sudden you're going to receive from a computer a pre-recorded service. Um, once you have that information, you can use it for training, you can practice things, uh, and I'm going to show you too uh, how you can send this information to your monitor console if you're using a second monitor console uh, so you can help um, get people's ears sounding a little bit better as well. Um, so again, a couple of weeks ago we talked about if you're hooking up two boards with some digital snakes. This is kind of going off of that information and kind of uh, hopefully clarifying for some of you who had questions why I connected the boards the way I did. Um, all your information is going to basically flow from your front of house board to your monitor board to your speakers, all that good stuff. Um, so let's take a look here. So again, we're looking today at the Behringer X32. Uh, the reason why we're using this console is because it's affordable and a lot of churches seem to have them right now. Um, so we're gonna be looking a lot in our routing page up here. And you can see that the board is currently set up for its default setting of using the local inputs, the inputs that are on the back of the board. So what we wanna do is we wanna change those so that they're receiving the inputs that are coming from our digital snake instead. So instead of local one through eight, it'll be AES50A one through eight, and we'll go all the way through until we get to channel 32. So now we've got signal coming to the board. There's two places that we wanna send it to. We wanna send it to our card so that we can be doing recording, and we're gonna send it to, in this case, we have a monitor console in this example. Um, so on our card out tab, we basically just want it to match what this is. Our home tab is our inputs. We want to send what we're getting for inputs to our card. Um, if you don't set this correctly, then that means the first recording you try and do will only be picking up your local inputs, which in this example, nothing's plugged in, so that's not going to do you any good. So we're going to change these again to card A 1 through 32. And then AES 50A. So this is the cable that's going between our front of house board and eventually gets to our monitor console. Um, same deal, except for, and again, you can go watch the other video to see why we're doing this. Uh, everything's going to start on channel 17 as far as your outputs go, but same exact thing. It's going to be AES1, AES50A1 through 32. And so now um, we've got our routing going again in from the snake. And then we're sending out to the card and we're sending out uh, to our monitor console. So this is the routing we want for our live mode. So now we're gonna go to our snippets. If you go to scenes and view and connect, uh, kick, click on your snippets. Snippets are basically scenes, um, but that are focused. So a scene will affect everything on the board um, with just a couple of exceptions. Um, so that can be a little bit hairy because then you're changing things that you don't want to change. So, uh, a snippet, you can say, okay, well, I only want to change these features for these channels. So in our case, what we want to do is we don't want to change any channels. We just want to save specifically the routing options. 
meaning that when we go to load this snippet, only that stuff that we just changed in the routing is going to change. So we're going to click on routing and then we'll hit save. I'm going to call this live. This will be our live band mode. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a uh, virtual sound check mode using the same information, but now, so if we look at our home tab, instead of that information coming from our snake, we want it to come from our card. So anything that says AES50A one through eight, we want it to be card one through eight, all the way down through 32. So card, 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 card. So now channel one is receiving from our card instead of from the snake. Um, so we don't need to change what's going to our card because we're only receiving information from that at this point, but we do in this example want to change what's going to our monitor console because we're going to want that to be um, the same information as well. So again, we'll click on AS50A and anything that was A one through eight will now be card one through eight, card nine through 16, 17 through 24 and 25 through 32. So this is great because what this means is that now um, I can send that information to my monitor console as well. And maybe um, the monitors have been a little bit funny the past few weeks and uh, you want to come in in the middle of the week and listen to the monitors and adjust the EQ that they're receiving. This is a way you can do that without having to, uh, to have another run from front of house to monitor world, uh, without having to have snippets or scenes on monitor world and on the front of house console. Now this one console is sending all the information everywhere. And so it gives you uh, a one-stop shop to make this kind of stuff happen. So really useful. So now we've got our output set correctly, our inputs and our outputs, everything's coming from the card. Um, so now what we're gonna do is save another snippet. So again, scenes, snippets, click on this next one here, make sure our routing tab is selected, hit save. And I'm gonna call this one vert for virtual sound check and save. So now I've got two little tiny scenes, two snippets that I can go through that will change um, the routing tabs back and forth. Um, so finally what I want to do, because again, the whole point of this is to simplify things and to uh, make it easier for your, uh, your volunteers to make these changes without accidentally changing other things. So what we're going to do is uh, avoid them having to go to this window at all to load these things we're gonna load them into our assignable section over here. If you remember from previous videos, what I tend to do is have A be my effects, B be my um, playback returns and my, um, my sends on fader for like monitor feeds that I'm maybe doing from front of house, and C I usually keep open. Well, today we'll use scene as a snippets page. So I'll click on view, go to my C tab, Give it a pretty color here. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these bottom two buttons go to my snippets. So uh, button 11, console snippet, that'll be live. Button 12, console snippet, that'll be virtual. So what ends up happening, if you look at our routing page again here, let's look at our inputs. Currently we're uh, set up to receive our virtual playback, uh, virtual sound check. So what I'm gonna do now, is uh, take this snippet for live. And if you're on the actual board, you'll see the little uh, uh, text file here will say live for you as well. Um, and when I click on it, everything switches back to being coming from the digital snake. If I click on virtual, everything goes back to the card. If we look at my AS50A, the same things are happening. So uh, we've got live, AS, we've got virtual, card. Very easy. Everything works. Now, if you're doing this on a board, um, luckily it will ask you, um, are you sure before you do it? It's not as instantaneous as it is, uh, on the app here. Um, it will ask you, so you're less likely to make a mistake. Um, so finally, one thing I want you to know on this, um, it is very important if you're using this often, that you always remember to engage the live setting uh, before a band walks up onto stage um, for your rehearsals and for your service. Um, 
if you have your recording computer set up and you're accidentally in virtual mode, um, it's very, very possible for you to have um, a latency uh, issue because what's happening is your sound is going through your board to the card back through the board and then out to um, what you're hearing in the house and what you're hearing in the monitors. Um, and it may not be noticeable to you at front of house, depending on how far you are from um, the stage, but the guys that are playing are going to all of a sudden feel like a delay in everything they're playing. Um, and that's, uh, that's natural, but we don't want that to happen. So that's why you need to make certain that you hit the live button um, before you get going or else if you do have that issue, make sure that that's uh, moved over correctly. So really useful trick. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can leave them below in our comment section on YouTube, or you can email me directly at techtuesday at ascensionworship.com. Um, and we take suggestions for new videos and we answer questions. And um, we hope this is a useful resource for you. Until next week, have a great day. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.